Matching caring adults with children who need their attention is at the heart of the work of Big Brothers Big Sisters. But as Anne-Marie Berger shows us, that work is being extended from after school into during school. <laughs> It's that time of year again when the days are getting shorter, the temperature is a little cooler, and kids are settled into a brand new school year. Make sure you wrote in a complete sentence. This can be an exciting time for some, but for way too many kids, school can be a place where all their challenges, struggles, and misfortunes are revealed through their report card. Effort means how you try. Are you trying hard? It all rolls over into school. Everything that happens in the neighborhood, everything that happens at home, children bring that with them. Many kids in schools across our region live without basic resources such as electricity and gas. Many face homelessness and go to bed hungry. They live with challenges that prevent them from being successful in school. There are many great organizations that work to address these issues, and Big Brothers Big Sisters of Eastern Missouri is one of them. For nearly 100 years, they've been mentoring disadvantaged youth in St. Louis. Volunteer Bigs are paired with Littles in the community, with the mission of building trusting relationships between caring adults and children. <laughs> Jim, are you having a good week so far? Mm -hmm. We just back, believe please. that oh, if you guys. surround individuals, and in this case, particularly children, with more caring, trusting adults, that life and everything else gets better. If I beat you... In bowling? Yeah. This uh, weekend? Yes. Okay. The good news is, is in this 98 years, um, that belief has been proven um, with scientific rigorous research. So <laughs> that's like what we do. Deal. We get up every morning with one mission in mind is to put a caring, trusting, enduring adult in a child's life uh, to change it for the better and forever. All right, so where's your work? We got mine right here. Wow, excellent job on reading and analyzing your data. What is this? Sandy Rogers loves spending time with his little brother, nine-year-old Avion, and Avion feels the same way. I come over to his house and uh, play with his sons and him. And it's a secret passage to a park. There's a secret passage? Uh-huh, in the backyard. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna try to get him out. Uh, yeah, I think I would. All right. I, I just see. think about my own situation. I wouldn't be where I am today, Emory, if I didn't have mentors in my life. And you've probably had mentors in your life that have, you know, shaped the person that you've become. And so I just get very excited about this idea that we could put a mentor in the life of every child who wants one and needs one. You've been on the honor roll for three years? First grade, grade, wow. Big Brothers Big Sisters knows these relationships make a difference in the lives of children, but they felt they could do more if they knew more. They've partnered with schools to help address the challenges kids face directly to help them become more successful in school. And with any luck, it will be as easy as ABC. ABC Today um, is really a program dedicated to making sure the students that we're working back with are attending school, behaving when they get there, and having classroom success. Um, last time we went through sample data that was just based on my students enrolled in my program. This time we actually have school-wide data. So we went through some kinks. There's Here's some how it works. Big bit, Brothers Big Sisters has an employee stationed in a school and that individual, in partnership with the school district, tracks attendance, behavior, and classroom data on the littles that attend there. And then Ruby Jones is the Big Brothers Big Sisters Director of Impact tab, at Langston Middle School. So every quarter I get the child's reading grade, math grade, their attendance, their tardies, and their discipline referrals. And I follow up with that information to make sure that they're going to be a successful student at Langston. How was the Constitution test? It's more than just sure identifying really? what area kids are How struggling with, but class. why they are struggling. Housing stability, transportation, communication, clean clothes, food. Those are just some of the real life issues young kids deal with every day. The needs were so many. 
um, the kids and families and their individual situations are also unique. And so that was probably one of the first things we realized, I think, in working with this program is that, um, gosh, there's not one um, fix it for all of these kids and these um, schools and, and the things that they're dealing with. Which class do you think you made the most improvement? In math, what Ms. Mm -hmm. what caused that? Like, what did you do differently to help your grade come up? I start coming to school more. Yeah, that kind of helps, doesn't it? Coming to school really, really gets the grades up, right? Working directly with schools yes, is the key to success for ABC today. Without this relationship, okay. School-wide data showing trends okay. wouldn't be available, well, we as well as the attendance, okay. behavior, and classroom success of their littles, which uh, allows Ruby to address succeeded. each child's then challenges the individually. Math. The seventh grade range, the, the highest number of days missed is 14. Eighth grade, the highest number of days missed is 27. That's a big difference. I always work with the school social worker because that's a great resource. This is what they do. So I work with the school social worker to see if they have any resources that could help us. Also working back with the parent. So I never want to just go in and tell a family, this is your problem. Let's have a conversation. I'm going to talk to the student. They're going to tell me what they think the issue is. I'm going to talk to the parent. We'll get to the bottom of what it really is. And then also working back with that volunteer because they're an important part of all of this. So if it's a kid needs glasses, I can find the resource to provide free glasses. However, somebody may need to take the child to the appointment to get the glasses. And that's where the volunteer comes in. That's somewhere where they can help us with all of this. And that's the big... The big, yes. Yes, the big brother or the big sister. Because <laughs> if I land on a table, you just going to get me. I, I, I was thinking about it. I was hoping to. You know, my well, greatest you day would be if you, uh, yeah. I woke up and there was no okay, need so for us. The but the good news is there's thousands of people nationwide in St. Louis, in the region, stepping up, and they get it. I mean, they just fundamentally get the common sense of a caring, trusting role model being there for a long time and how it does and can change a life. Look at this! Excellent job solving the problem in two different ways. That's fantastic. You feel pretty good about that? <laughs> Is all your work excellent? All of it? Well, you ought to feel really proud about that. That's awesome. That is really, really good stuff.